Hey guys and welcome to a new video. So about a little bit more than a week ago I have been streaming live and trying out new runes. Outside of streaming I have been playing many more games and eventually I have discovered a new working rune page. This is the rune page that I'm talking about. If you want to be the master of trades specifically for the shorter ones this rune page is perfect for you. About half a year ago in the middle of season 8 I have been playing with this rune page myself for quite a long time. I stopped playing with this rune page because Riot has made massive changes and and it simply wasn't worth taking anymore. However, now with the new changes that came over over the past couple of months, this room page is better than ever. But before you guys take this room page into a ranked game, there is a few things that you should know. You need to change the room page depending on the matchup that you are playing against. Also, depending on the build that you are using, you also have to make some changes. So the first one that we are going to be talking about is the nullifying orb. If you are playing against a heavy AP team, you might want to consider taking this. You also might want to consider taking this if you are playing against AP matchup. If none of these apply in your game and most of the enemy team is based on full AD, I recommend taking Nimbus Cloak instead. It gives you more mobility around your ultimate and this is also a much better replacement if you cannot make good use of the orb. Moving on to the next one, we have Absolute Focus and then there's Transcadence. This is very important. Depending on the build that you are going for, you have to choose between these two options. If you want to have more damage in the early game, you can go for the absolute focus. However, you won't have the choice to overcap your cooldown reduction later on in the game. If you want to scale a little bit more in the mid late game, I recommend taking Transcadence instead. Because with this rune, you got the option to overcap your cooldown reduction, which translates to more AD, which means more damage. For the full explanation, I have made a video about a 90% build. You should check it out, it's very OP. The next one that I want to talk about is Scorch. You never want to change this because Scorch helps you out a lot for for winning the early trades. Unless you really want to scale into the mid late game, you can take the other rune, but take my advice and always leave it on Scorch for the trades. Moving on to the resolve tree, you always want to have shield bash because this scales very well into the mid late game. It's very overpowered. The same applies for the bone plating. This is a must have because this is very strong in the early game and it scales very well into the mid late game. As for the bonus stats, you want to have two points into adaptive force and one point into armor or magic resist. Depending on the matchup that you are playing against, you might want to change whether you want to have armor or magic resist. Now that we covered everything about the room page, there's one more thing that I want to talk about. A lot of people will ask if this is better than electrocute. The truth is, when you play with electrocute, you will never go into the resolve tree. With this room page setup, you got the possibility to go into the resolve tree and still have the choice to go for transcadence. This is why this room page is a must for the current patch that we are living in. Anyway, I hope this helped you guys out. Thank you so much for watching the video guys. Don't forget to follow me on my Twitch channel to see me play live. Also, don't forget to join my Discord server. If you got any questions, leave them down in the comments right below guys. Don't forget to subscribe and like and I'll see you guys in my next video man. Peace.